So now think about this. The amount of energy available it turned onto the ice sheet for 5,000 years is what it would take to melt that ice that quick. Where in the hell did that much energy come from? They gave up. They said, there's got to be, there's something we've missed in the data. We're going to put this on the shelf and we'll get back to it. To this day, they haven't gotten back to it. They called it the energy paradox. It is indeed a paradox. Of course, what they weren't taking into account, they were trying to think of a model, how do you apply that much energy smoothly over 5,000 years? It wasn't energy applied smoothly over 5,000 years. It was pulses of energy, concentrated, where the, where the total of the energy was the same. But rather than smoothly, uniform over 5,000 years, it was instantaneous pulses of energy introduced into the system. And the result of that was massive catastrophic meltdown and literal tsunamis of meltwater gushing off the ice sheet, sweeping over the land, washing away everything in its path. The world that pre-existed these events, when they were over, that world was gone.